Hey YouTube, and welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I'm your host, Joss, and I come bearing good news. We are officially now on social media, so you can give us a follow on Instagram and Facebook. The links are posted down below. Don't forget, if you hang out with me until the end of this video, you can join in on some fun when I respond to some comments. Guess what? Our list yet again continues today with a part four video of top 10 actors Hollywood won't hire anymore. Even if we didn't want to hear about the scandals actors find themselves in, it's almost impossible not to since they go viral viral all over our social media feeds. And while some actors get caught up in controversy, some choose to simply walk away. Let's see what happens in today's list. Let's get started. off our list at number 10 is Kathy Griffin. The successful actress got herself into a lot of trouble when she posted an inappropriate picture back in 2017. She decided to team up with Tyler Shields to do a very controversial photo shoot of her holding a decapitated bloody head of Donald Trump. Of course it was just a mask, but the image was so real and graphic that sites had to blur it and block it from their sites. When she first posted it to Twitter and saw people's horrified reactions, she began to tweet out that she went too far and she will be removing the picture. But a site came forward saying that Griffin and Shields were joking on set of the photo shoot saying after the photos were released they would need to move to Mexico because they would be put in prison. She took down the picture and apologized for offending people. But months later she took her apology back and told the Rolling Stone and I quote, I'm not sorry, I take the apology back 1000%. The actress has received death threats and hate mail and was put on a no fly list after undergoing two months of federal investigation. Her her last TV booking was in 2016 before the controversy and the only thing she has coming out in 2019 is a TV movie called A President Show Documentary The Fall of Donald Trump. She just doesn't know when to call it quits. At number 9 we have Roseanne Barr. The actress, writer and producer lost her career after racist tweets were sent out by her speaking about Barack Obama's advisor Valerie Jarrett. The tweet was a racist statement comparing Valerie to an ape. After the tweets were sent out and the controversy quickly started in 2019. 2018, ABC cancelled its successful reboot of her show called Roseanne. ABC went on to reboot the series without her. Barr has now painted herself as the victim, saying that she was fired because of her support for Israel and that the network was looking for an excuse to fire her. Not too long after, she started making another excuse and blamed her co-star Sarah Gilbert for being the reason her sitcom was cancelled. The actress has not found work since and the only publicity she's getting is interviews about the racist tweet and her crumbling career. Swiping the number 8 spot Spot is Jamie Lynn Spears. Yes, Britney Spears has a little sister and she was once a Nickelodeon star with her own show called Zoe 101. She played the title character Zoe who had a super fun and innocent life at a posh boarding school unsupervised without her parents. Young fans adored her and her carefree innocent lifestyle, but apparently the actress wasn't so innocent while off camera. She caused a major controversy when she got pregnant at the young age of 16. Not long after the announcement, Nickelodeon cancelled the show which also also meant her other co-stars lost the show with her. The once actress became a mom, got married and then gave up her acting dream and turned into a country artist instead. She's now pursuing a career as a country artist and said she has no interest in returning to acting. She might not get very far anyway since the only thing on her acting resume was Zoe 101. In the number 7 spot is Matthew Underwood. He was one of the co-stars on Zoe 101 where he played the troublemaker boy Logan Reese on the series. He continued with his acting career after the show ended but in 2012, he got into some trouble. The actor was arrested after police searched his home and found marijuana and other drug paraphernalia. During the home search, he was also reported to be found in the home's master bedroom with a 17 year old girl. This was a problem because he was 22 at the time and she was legally underage. He was let go and put on probation, but a few months later was arrested again outside a hookah lounge for violating his probation. The actor has remained out of the headlines since that final arrest and also has remained out of the Hollywood acting industry. Coming in at number 6 we have Dane Cook. The comedian's career took off with his stand up comedy talent but also headed into the direction of acting. He made his first on screen appearance in the movie Employee of the Month where he starred next to Jessica Simpson. Unfortunately his first major role was a flop and the movie received 20% on Rotten Tomatoes. He tried to make a comeback when he took on a major role in Good Luck Chuck. The movie was given horrible reviews and received just a 5% on Rotten Tomatoes. He continued 
continued to try and book acting roles, but fans were not thrilled about it and often said he should just stick to a stand up comedy. He is a funny guy, don't get me wrong, but there's more to acting than just being funny. Not only were his movies a flop, but his comedy took a hit after he made an inappropriate joke back in 2012 about a mass shooting. He made a joke referencing the shooting that happened in Colorado during the screening of The Dark Knight Rises. The actor apologized later for his jokes, but some people weren't so forgiving. Lately, he's also caught up in another controversy by people judging him for dating a girl who is only 19 years old. They began dating when she was just 18 years old and he was 45 at the time. And the two have continued dating for over a year now. People have had no problem voicing their opinion on the 26 year age gap. Dane is making a comeback though in comedy by doing a comedy tour this year. He admits that he will be sticking to comedy and that acting is in his past. I think it is best that that stays in the past. Halfway through the list at number 5 is Jeanette McCurdy, a young actress known for her supporting role on the show iCarly. When the successful series wrapped, she got a starring role on Nickelodeon, Sam and Cat. Things for her career seemed to be going great. This was until 2014 when nearly nude pictures of her leaked online. Tensions ran high between the actress and Nickelodeon and she even skipped the network's 2014 Kids Choice Awards. She took it to Twitter to blame Nickelodeon, claiming that the network had treated her badly. The leaked photos turned into a huge scandal that involved Detroit Pistons basketball player Andre Drummond. Apparently, the two of them had a short term fling and when it ended, she humiliated him on a podcast interview. Only a few days later, her pictures were all over the internet and she claims that it was him. She took it to Twitter and said, To anyone disappointed, I sent those pics to one person. You can connect the dots. Shocked someone would stoop so low. The actress left Nickelodeon and tried to continue with her career where she was able to book some smaller roles. Since 2016, she has only booked a few short films. She does do YouTube videos for her fans and continues to try and be a social media personality instead. At number 4 we have Ryan Rotman who began his career playing Joey Colvin in the series Gigantic. His work led him to dating Victoria Justice who was the star of Victorious. The two were a power couple for young fans but after the relationship fizzled out, Rotman got into some trouble with the law. In 2011, police officers spotted his car was jumping a curb so they pulled him over. The cop smelt alcohol and he brutally failed a sobriety test. The actor blew .19 on the test which is more than double the legal limit. His show was cancelled and he was charged with a DUI. Once he faced the court and things settled down, he continued to pursue his acting career. He's been able to book short films and small TV roles, but nothing has brought him back to the big screen. One can only imagine where his career would be now if he didn't get that DUI. Alright guys, at number 3 we have Rupert Grint, our beloved Ron Weasley in the Harry Potter movies. The actor got his big break in the industry when he was just 11 years old. The gig, which ran the course over a decade, secured his place in the film world. He earned the title of one of history's most famous child actors along with his other co-stars. After the 8th and final movie, fans expected Grint's career to take off given his successful position. Instead, he didn't really do much at all. One of the main reasons being that in between the Harry Potter movies, the actor kind of took it easy. Unlike his co-stars Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson who were booking other movies in between. Throughout the entire series, he only booked 3 indie projects, missing out on a huge opportunity to showcase his acting skills. Not to mention his indie products all received horrible reviews. Turns out the actor wanted to quit acting. In 2017, he told Entertainment Weekly and I quote, When I started, acting was never something that I aspired to do. I fell in love with it while I was doing it. But I definitely did think, is this really what I wanted to do? He went on to say that he felt like he missed out on a lot of life and wanted to just be free and live a little bit. When he did ease back into acting, no one really noticed. He's been able to book some smaller roles, but no movies that have brought him back to the big screen. At number 2 we have Jack Gleason. The young actor played Joffrey Baratheon in HBO's Game of Thrones. He played the character from 2011 to 2014, but after the boy was killed off the show, Gleason decided he wanted to step away from acting. He was in the prime of his career but went on to tell interviewers that he didn't want to be in the spotlight and wanted to go back to school. During an interview he said, I quote, I hate celebrity culture. He returned back home and is now a part of his Dublin based theatre company called Collapsing Horse. So even if Hollywood wanted a part of him, he wants no part of Hollywood. Taking our number 1 spot is Paul Rubens aka Pee Wee Herman. The actor was huge for this character during the 80s as he took on 2 feature films and also a Emmy winning children's TV series. But his image and also his career changed drastically in 1991. During a visit with his parents in Florida, he was arrested for indecent exposure at an adult movie theater because he was spotted masturbating during the movie. He was 38 years old at the time and pleaded no contest 
protests and agreed to take part in a new anti-drug campaign to avoid a trial on the misdemeanor charge. After the scandal, Pee Wee toys were pulled from shelves across the nation and Rubens hid from the public eye, pretty much disappearing for the remainder of the 90s. He attempted a comeback, but more charges of sexual nature were brought against him, this time relating to child pornography. Officers seized thousands of items from a collection of vintage gay erotica and also faced claims of owning sexual images of children. It took yet another decade for him to come back to Hollywood, which he did in 2016's Netflix film Pee Wee's Big Holiday. He did receive some positive responses from fans, but also received a lot of negative as they didn't agree with the decision to bring him back. There's really no way he will ever make his mark in the industry again. Well, there's our list for today, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Now, let's check out some comments from some of my other videos. Cresco Sakakata says, Can you do a video about actors who Marvel wants to hire? Ooh, that could actually be interesting. Like maybe they want to hire them, but they turn down the role. That would actually be a cool one. Nicole Frutel says, Hey, Joss, if you could be a superhero, who would you be and why? Me, I would be Ant Man. I would probably have to pick Captain Marvel. I mean, she's clearly really badass and is one of the strongest heroes, so I feel like that's an easy option. Rabar07 says, if Rebel Wilson ever played as any kind of superhero movie, I would shoot my television. Okay then, so not a Rebel Wilson fan? Velocity21 says, I would love to see Jack Black as Superman, lol. Honestly, I wouldn't hate it. I think that it could be kind of funny, but like maybe not in the MCU. I don't know. Alright guys, I'm taking off. That's all I got for you today. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. I'm your host Joss and I'll see you next time.